Hi there everyone thank you so much for joining me today i hope everybody's doing well i had a little bit of a <laughs> mosquito issue i didn't want him hovering around sorry about that <laughs> anyway i do apologize for no video on tuesday tuesday yeah ah <sighs> I am sorry. I've been in a lot of pain for a while and it culminated in me not waking up on Tuesday until about 3.30 in the afternoon. So I am sorry. This video ugh, is about trying to get rid of Ozzy. And he continues to have the thought bubbles that mean absolutely nothing. So I did another Eh, experiment of sorts. I continued to go seven days, come back, but then I thought, you know, I go ahead seven days and I think it was Kyle who was asking to leave and I thought, well, you know what? Why don't I just keep moving forward and eventually maybe it will be Ozzy. So the dates, <laughs> just ignore the dates in the bottom left corner there. They don't really mean anything. Um, because, again, you'd go ahead seven days, come back, and either the same person is asking or somebody else asks. You do the seven-day thing, you come back, and it's those same two villagers. So I thought, well, if that continues, then I will just stay where I am, see who the next two villagers are, and then just keep moving forward. I didn't have to go too far ahead. But it was always <laughs> the same cast of characters. You knew exactly who, you know, just based on what, which, which day you were on. I knew exactly who was going to be asking. And man, oh man, was I getting upset, see? Very upsetting. So, I just plowed away the whole day. I spent about... Oh, maybe four, four and a half hours working on this. So you're not going to see, the, you know, everything. And we got a couple weird ones. <laughs> I figured I'd throw those in for good measure because this is a very short video. Believe it or not, all that time, all that work. Eh. Well, I mean, it is enough to show you. But it isn't that I'm running out of ideas. It's that I feel like everything I want to do, it takes serious planning. <laughs> and I either feel underprepared or I'm just not gathering enough of the resources to do what I'd like to do for our firsts. And Plucky's house was a prime example of that. I really need a huge inventory to decorate these guys' houses. Well, you know, I need it. I don't need... Well, yes, I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> that sounded dumb. I want a lot more items to feel comfortable. Hey, look, he's asking on the third tier. This is very rare. And I didn't even know who was behind the tree. I thought it, I just, you know, saw the thought bubble. So... <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Again and again and again and again. Ugh. It's crazy. But you know, while I was doing all this, I started 
noticing things on my island that I don't know that I'm happy with anymore. One is the layout of the house. <laughs> you quit bothering me. Look, here's what I... I'm sorry, I'm going to go off topic for a second. One of the things that I set out to do on this particular journey is to gift and gift and gift the same villagers so that they would stop asking, you know, build up friendship points, which I thought I already had. And it didn't work. It did not work. So, excuse me, Bunny, this balloon is more important than you wanting to leave my island. Oh, man. And you would think, well, this is how it was for me in the past. If you had a brand new villager on your island and then something came up and you had to time skip and then you come back, the new villager was always the one asking to leave because you hadn't really built up a friendship with them. That, that's not the case anymore. Sometimes I have to try this stuff on because I have no idea what it is. I got to look at it like, what? So I apologize for that. Anyway, Pigo and Mallory are the only two that have never asked to leave. And those were my newest. So, now Plucky here. Plucky surprised me. Uh, this is like the third, fourth time that I've been inside her house. I did get her photo. I even went in one time when Lolly was there and Lolly was singing this room's praises and saying, oh my gosh, this room, it just screams Plucky, right? And you know what Pucky said to me? The one thing she said to me. These chairs are not comfortable. And she meant the two near the kitchen, the round, and they're simple. And that's one of the items she likes. She liked cool and simple. Ah. Ta-da! And here I'm just standing there going, oh my gosh, what's he going to want to do now? Give me some yucky item. Tell me he wants to go to see my house or he wants me to come over. Oh, I, I didn't even want to click on him because I'm like, I'm really tired of this. I've been thinking about if I ought to move away. Very grammatically incorrect sentence structure there, but whatever. <laughs> he finally asked. And of course, guilt set in almost immediately. And I'm like, was I too rough on him? No. No, he was rough on me. Giving me his junk items and ugh. But he finally, finally asked to leave. So I had to run in the house because I didn't want to do this in front of him. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but I do feel guilty. I feel a little bad. So I'm going to promise myself, don't do that to any of your other villagers. But oh my gosh, finally. <sighs> nice end to an otherwise hectic day. Hi, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video and for your continued support of my channel. Thank you. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're interested. Take very good care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one, which will be a villager hunt to replace Ozzy. Oh dear, <laughs> who do I choose? Bye-bye!